Hello YouTube and welcome to North Wilkesboro, site to race number 11 of the NRSL Hooter Series for the 2008 season. And joining me in the booth once again is Stephen Paul III and joining us is Austin LaPlante. Hello guys. On the front row today will be Matt Hamill in the 61 car starring alongside Bafode Sacco. It's James Qualls and Rob Evans in row 2 with Oriel Pollard and Kev Shear in row three, Ace <laughs> Rogers, Matt Dixon, row four, and Sheila Shear and Paul Swanson in row number five. Here's the rest of the starting grid as I hand it over to Steven and Austin for their thoughts and predictions. So the good news, the bad news is Kev has 147 points lead. The bad news is that the number five car won last year with Henry Williams and Hendricks 48 finished second. So that is not what the field wants to see. This is only the second time we've ever been to North Wilkesboro, so not really know what to expect in here last year. We kind of got a little strung out, so track position is definitely going to matter here. This is the last tutors race for the next month, and the cup and trucks will take over. So they have the last teams, the final was Estadar and Nereza. But the teams want to put on a good showing before the mini offseason. They have, and they want to see who's going to be the dominant one going into that. Yep, uh, pretty much. Uh, I just don't know what else to say. Just a very historic track, very quick 60 lapper. And it uh, should really be a great race at uh, one of the earliest short tracks in uh, uh, NASCAR history. As let's go trackside for the command. Drivers, start your engines! So as mentioned, it is a 147 point lead for Kev Shear, which means only Hunter Braxton, who's second in points. Oh no, Matt oh. Hamill! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the damn, the, the Kevin LePage car didn't even make a start. Wow! Man, okay, so is, your, is he going to LePage? Uh, what are the odds of that? Um, well, I'm, I've am i totally lost track of what I was going to say now. Uh, only Hunter Braxton can leave here as the points leader. The inside line now having to do a massive job to try and catch up. We might not be going green. Oh, run the oh. screen into the pit wall! <laughs> uh, you got to be kidding me! Come on here again! <laughs> Kev Shear now gets to inherit the pole. Bullshit! And, and we are green are we go here for the Hardy's 300. Uh, what? Why did I decide to join again? What? Wait, wait. What? I don't even just, know what's happened. Uh, Rob Evans just said, screw it. I don't want to even race today, boys. Um, and I don't think Matt Hamill's... What the hell happened? <laughs> Kev Shear has got the lead. Here goes Matt Dixon out. Dixon's in the second. And Nereza, Deaver, Jesse James. The 42's not even taking the green flag. The 02, Brian James, doesn't take the green flag. Evans uh, technically takes the green flag while on a tow truck. So this is why. The cars officially take the green flag. This is why Hooters is taking a month break. I don't even know how I'm going to score this for the points as Sheila Shear's going to get up into the wall here off turn two. Oh, good move. Oh, gosh. I'm surprised he didn't wreck right there. And... <laughs> Kev Shear somehow inherits the lead here. He inherited the pole. Stim Paul the third gets the wall. Here comes Kyle Matthews in 48. Oh, oh, that, okay, here comes the brickness. Here comes the brickness. Dixon now is the try is trying to chase him down. Almost gets the wall. Might have gotten the wall off turn two. How, how about this? The forty, the five, and the forty-eight finished one-two here last year, and then running one and three here this year. As this is why I was saying I probably wouldn't want to use TV one that much or TV one that much. As she sheer gets the wall, that's going to open the door now for Sam Young. If we make it with no cautions, I'll be amazed. And, oh, as he nearly jinxed it. 59 nearly got turned in front of half the field. They can't be doing this for that Sheila long. Sheila Shear huh? just does not yeah, have a handle on that Kings for four. Be it. It's, be it. it's amazing we're making it. Heavy damage to that 59's right side now as 91's almost going to push the 59 up into the wall. There's three wide off turn two right now. Somehow Correction. making that work. Sam Young's slow. Oh, Sam Young, another engine failure. Issues for the one. He is still slow off turn four. 
Uh, correction from last year, Sky Commons in the 25 finished second, not the 48. That's my bad. As the Mikasuki Chevrolet with issues as well, will they be able to, will they go to pit lane? No. No. Did he just get out of the groove or something? Do we have magical dirt grip or something? I have no clue what happened. I don't even know what's going on anymore at this point. Neither do I. Matt Dixon has, uh, Kefshear's opened up a six-tenth of a second lead over Matt Dixon. It is 2.16 seconds back to Kyle Matthews, who now has right side damage. Jessica Shelton, who was fastest in happy hour, is now up into fourth. Where's the nine car running? There's the nine, that bright yellow car like on the inside line. Yeah, I'm noticing from last year, we are having a whole, we are having a whole pack race here of something. As three wide back here, around the 59 again. Oh, that's Zach, it. I'll, I'll be alive. Zach Flickinger in the middle. They are beating, they are banging. This is not six feet apart. <laughs> the 91's up in the middle, I think. Is it, or, no, that's the 90, I'm sorry. Oh, look at this. They are just so close off the corner. The phone no Sacco, who started on the outside pole, has fallen to 24. That's the tail of the 21 season right there. As we've got three wide, two rows deep in front of them. Why is this working? How is this working? That's the better question. Oh, my lord. 91 <laughs> now is on the outside of three wide. The eight is six inches up the 27's ass right there as he's just pushing him down the corner. Uh, we had people mentioning that this is a G-rated channel. <laughs> a G-rated channel. The G-rating went out the window. I, I uh, said it was more PG-13. It was G-rated in 2012 to 2014, and it just became PG-13. Well, I think I think Chris Washer and Chris Louvier blew that out the window. That as it is now back down to a three tenths of a second lead. Dixon starting to close the gap down on the five, just a tad, as Shelton looks for a way around the 48 of Kyle Matthews. Yeah, if you if you go back and watch that finale, that had a lot of rated R content. Someone got the wall. There oh, goes the 20. Go it's Johnny Oh, big plow. Where's the oh, 64? Mary Shelley's in it. Carter nice plow. Joey, Mitchell Collins. They're still plowing. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. As Let's see if the piss car picks up the correct line. Kev Shear now comes across <laughs> the line. He leads under the caution. Nice cultural reverence right there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, I can't. Kev. What are you doing? Kev. Kev. Stop squishing. And Kev Shear going to take the chance to pit. Oh, no. Oh, the oh. Don't hit the pit wall, Kev. <laughs> Don't, okay. throw away a car. Don't throw away a race win. Okay, now people are passing the pace car. We got people. Uh, Don't pass. That is drivers who uh, were actually in front of, who passed, they crossed the line. Basically, they're trying to get where they supposed, they are supposed to pass the pace car. Just well, James can't quite figure out what to do with the pace car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's, watch the pit pit stop. let's watch the pit stop cycle first, and we'll see what happens. Uh, Jesse James is smoking some good weed right there. He needs to get sponsored by a marijuana plant. I swear, Two after tires this, I for Kev and Michael. Dixon. Yeah. Yep, and uh, I noticed that it didn't look like they fixed the damage on the 48 as Kev Shear wins the race off pit lane. Dixon second, Matthews, Shelton, and Matt or Hunter Braxton, top five off pit lane. Let's take 21. you back. 21. What are you doing? Uh, he's trying to pit. That's what happened. Let's take you back to show you what happened to bring out the caution for the first time today. And here is what happened to bring out the yellow for the first time tonight. Today. Whoops. John Irvin oh, comes. Funny. John wow. Irvin just got a little too high up on the track. Comes down into the 92 after hitting the wall. Then goes for a spin. 92 finishes the job there. 29 gets involved. 90 as well is going to get a piece of it. 21 gets you, into it. 27, not, 36. I'm and not the buying the Rock Band 2 for a while. Okay. 47 <laughs> also gets a piece of it. What is Rock Band 2? Is that like a Guitar That's a video Hero game. Something? No, I know. What is it like? A Guitar Hero or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll have to do a live recording session of me playing Guitar Hero 2. <laughs> oh, so with that, we'll take a couple of onboards here, and then we'll t bring you back for the restart. On board, Muhammad Zain Abdullah. <laughs>
on board the 76 of Trevor Germain. And finally, on board the 27 of Carter Joey. Here we go, ready for the restart, and it is Kev Shear, the race leader, Matt Dixon second, Kyle Matthews third, Jessica Shelton in fourth, Hunter Braxton fifth, Haley Lordergan is sixth, James Qualls, Sky Commons, Dylan Young, Trevor Collins top ten, Oriel Pollard, Zach Flickinger, Stephen Paul third, Jerry Shelley, Johnny Gardner, Paul Swanson, Quinton Moore, Ace Rogers, Carter Joey, and Steve Pollard, the top twenty. Mm. Uh, Matt Duncan underneath that last green flag run actually had a header issue. He is out of the race as well as Rob Evans. No one from the incident though is out of the race as we're back to racing here on lap 20. Yeah, 41 is going to be a lap little nuisance actually, right there. Sorry, I thought it hadn't counted yet. So let's see if the five car can not fall too back. Here comes Kyle Matthews. Well, a low sandwich pretty soon. And trying to take second away from Matt Dixon. Can the five try and get ahead of the 52 to be able to keep the race lead? I love how they're the same exact paint scheme too. <laughs> well, right now the five having to fight the 52 is the 48 still stuck behind that 52 car of Maryland Escandari. It is going to be back. Kev Shear though that clears the lap. Trow, not clear yet going nope, into three. I thought he was. Yet. Oh, trouble in the oh, back. No problems. Jesus. Oh, they saved it. No, they didn't. And the 92 is around. Carter oh, Joey just got lifted it. up. Caution flag flies once again. JT Bryant gets his lap back through all of this. Not bad for JT, the Daytona 500 winner right there. And Kev Shear hangs on to the race lead as a massive crash going into turn number three involving the 27-92. Oh. 20 oh, got blood oh. damage. Uh, <laughs> what? The tempers? the tempers have overflown. Oh, okay. Hello. Is he, he going to take him to the pit wall? Oh, he took him out. <laughs> is he going to hit the pit wall? Nope. No, he's not. Okay, so let's take you back to show you what happened to bring out the second caution of the day. And here's what happened. Zach Flickinger going to get this one started as he got up out of the gra uh, groove in turn two. He's going to slide it up towards the wall. Actually going to get a piece of it off turn two as well as mm -hmm. Trevor Collins in front of him. But it's contact yep. from the 92 that sends... See, oh, 88 also pinched it in there. Yep, the, the 89 goes to his friend right there. They hit the wall. The 88 finishes off Pollard right there. 8 car gets hit again. 18 not going to plow. 27 balls out. 20 balls out. 91's in there. 60 also gets a piece of it. 99 and the 1 kind of caught up behind it. Ace Rogers gets stopped. The Sonoma winner. The 36 is just taking out his frustrations, I guess. Well, so 36 was coming off pit lane. That's about as best as I have it right there. Um, with that, though, we'll take you back to the restart on this one. And we are back. Kev Shear is your race leader over Matt Dixon, Kyle Matthews, Jessica Shelton, Sky Commons, Haley Lordigan, Dylan Young, Oreo Pollard, Trevor Collins, and Jerry Shelley. Uh... Only John Irvin out of the race after that last incident as Mitchell Collins continues to go back and forth to the pit lane to try and repair damage. Uh, and we, back we are green once again on lap 26 this time as Shelton makes the move on the 48. And remember, less lap traffic, so that might make it less Three chaotic. Wide. Three I wide for second off turn two. Somehow made it. Kev still trying to battle the 52, though. Oh, I don't like this off this corner. Somebody's going to get high and pinch. So far, so good, as they're still three wide for second off turn number two. Here comes the 36. <laughs> Definitely don't like this now. Kev oh. Shear up the track. Here comes the 17. Oh, 
side by the... side for the lead, three wide, now with sandwiching the lot traffic. Oh, and this is not with anybody in the chase. Good one. Oh, what are you doing? Contact, oh. phase. Contact there. New leader at North Wilkesboro. It's the 17 of Jessica Shelton. Oh, we're about to have Lowe's nightmares for the teammates. Three wide. They're almost going to be four wide as Kev gets stuck in behind the 52 and just hit the wall. Oh, my God. The 52 pinched. Oh, trouble oh, five. for the five. Way slow. Yeah, well, the four. Like, every, is... Everyone in the stands cheers. <laughs> Still slow off turn four. He's up with the marbles. I mean, he got fuck. He got demolished into the fence right there. There goes oh, Braxton. They might have spun off turn number four. Well, whatever that shot was, that helped to go in there. Oh, no caution. Carter Joey is blown up. I don't know if that was damage related or not. Here comes Sky Commons. He finished second here last year, so he's trying to get the win now this year. As yep. he's trying to look for the race lead. Off turn number two, 32 goes a little bit wide. Three wide Jess, behind him. Just finished fourth and the two finished fourth. So the two in the same position as last year. And here comes three wide. I don't like these three wide moves. It's the 33 up there. And the 52 once again going to block this uh, lead lap car. This time it's the 16. As look the two it. tries to make a move on the 48. Here comes Sky Commons looking for one spot better. Guy is pretty good at the short tracks and the cup series, so this ain't really surprising as the 36 back on pit lane. Yeah, that's not going to be a surprise at any point. By the way, we just passed the halfway point as Sky Commons goes to the race lead. That's a good shot of the arm from Sky right there. Dylan Young makes the pass for third. Sticks. Commons up the track. Going to get the wall. the wall. Here comes the 17. Oh, he tried to block. And Kyle Matthews makes a move for third. Look at Sky Collins hanging it out on that high side right there. That's side impressive. by side. Only a nose separated those two that time by. Yeah, he tried, but he couldn't. Uh, I think there's the 90 cars in the picture. Who the heck's in the That's one of the Pollards. Yeah. That's our. Oreo. That's Oreo Pollard, actually. Oreo. As Jerry Shelley, Sky Commons teammate, also in the picture in sixth. Here comes Matt Dixon in the seventh. Gloria is the only pilot not to win in the series now. He's trying to break that losing streak. As somebody else on the road. I think that's the 29. Yeah, that's being a duel. A lot of random pits right here. As oh. Flickinger got the wall again, that's going to open the door for the 60 to get by. Yep, and the bright ass 89, you can see even if you're six and feet so under Nereza right there. way up the track. Jesse <laughs> James, who was nearly a lap down at one point, Damn, is now Jesse. up in 14th. Jesse's still on that marijuana. Hunter Braxton looking for a spot on calls. That's a battle for 15th. Wow, this is going to get tense. Um, looking back up front. Trying to get back up front. 17 has cleared. Battle for second now with the 48. As Shelly makes the move on the two, that's for the sixth position. Yep, 32 down the inside right there. Uh, Nine Jerry's is up on the outside line. Ten of Sky Commons gets sent up high. Yep, uh, Dylan Young. Is Dylan Young in the two car? That is Dylan Young in the two. Yep. Not been a very good season for him, but he comes into this one. Uh, as he comes into this one, 35th in points, I should say. Logan's a quiet top ten right there. So is the 03 car, quietly in the top ten. Yep, good run for Swanson so far. 13th in the points for Paul Swanson. Currently would be pointing his way into the chase. I think Dang. the eight car hit it. Uh, would not surprise me with the amount of damage they had. As Kyle Matthews continues to battle hard for second spot with Sky Commons. As Commons gets that outside line working for him right now. I'm actually yep, not quite it. sure who would have been the chase drivers coming in. I didn't actually take a look at it. I think it's the top 14, to be honest with you. Uh, well, Qualls would be in. That's one. At Now we'll just do an impromptu check the chase grid. James Qualls would be the race, uh, would be the leader of it. As Trevor Collins up the track in the 16, Matthews clears for second as they go into turn number one. Uh, Zane Abdullah, Sam Young, Steve Pollard would be in. Um, Carter Joey, Ace Rogers, Gitteroke, Mary Shelley, that's eight. 
Um, so then your top five in points would be getting in to get 13. JT Bryant would make 14. Eskandari, 15. Enzo Nereza would be the 16th driver. So, And he comes into this race one point ahead of the 03 as Shelly gets the wall again. As yeah, I'll that's going to open the door for Trevor Collins. Up the track once, one more time. There's three oh, wide I, yeah. off turn four. <laughs> uh, mind you, oh, Paul Swanson now runs in fifth. We just mentioned oh, his hands in Areza that he was one point behind. Areza right now in 13th. Braxton up the track. That is what Kev Shear wanted to see. And There's, that is what yeah. Kev Shear wanted to see because there goes Kev by the nine. So Kev now back yeah, up that. into 16th. Remember the 52 is a lap down as he's trying to pass balls right there. Uh, yep. Trying at least. And a side six, double foul here still. As that is the two of Dylan Young looking for sixth. Meanwhile, Matt Dixon has closed the gap on the 17. Oh boy. Mary Shelley won a few races in this car last year, so trying to get another win this year. Uh, Jermaine Racing making the switch from Chevy to Toyota this year. Uh, this is actually Phoenix or, Racing. No, this one. Actually, sorry. What? That's what it was. This car switching from Phoenix to Jermaine. That's what it was. Because Phoenix Racing is still the one, and they're still Chevy. The seven car made the switch to Toyota is what I was trying to say. Meanwhile, yeah, Matt right. Dixon gets the, the race lead. lead. Here comes Sky Commons looking for second. Oh, if Matt Dixon wins this race. Does he? Here he comes, the 10 car on the inside. Uh, battling with this, uh, Jess right there. If Jess finishes fourth in this race again. <laughs> yeah. As Commons tries to get to the same spot he finished last year. Kyle yeah, Matthews might place. try and make a move for third if he can close in on this battle. It's amazing we haven't had a caution how much people are. It looks like turn two, the high side, and turn four, the dangerous you mean since spot. the second caution. Yeah. As Sky uh, Commons goes up a little bit, that might open the door once again for the 17. Yep, as somebody... Jesse James coming off pit lane. Oh boy. Oh, so, somebody off the track. As oh, I like this. I don't like this. He's gonna merge in just fine right oh! there. Three wide. It's gonna force Lordergan off the to... bottom. That opens the door for Qualls. Oh, Qualls gets two what? for one off in turn three. I don't want Jesse's girl anymore. As there's Mitchell Collins once again coming off pit lane. He's not going to stay out there too much longer. As yeah. Collins gets the wall, that's going to open the door for the 49 to get back by him. Yeah, the 57 used eight court tires in that. Whoa. Whoa, God. 16 got the wall and slow there. As Lorbergen now tries to get the move back done on the 32. So I think the seventh last one was at well, at the second Lime Rock event. So not really a long losing streak, but keeping another year with a seven in victory lane. And Swanson trying to fend off for fifth from Dylan Young. Meanwhile, the 48 has caught the 17. Yes. And Lordigan looking like she might complete the pass on the 32. A very good run, a much needed run for the 49 car. Considering they are 26 in the points, they were top 10 at one point this season. Top five, actually. As I mean, um, point still stands. Yeah, exactly. Looks like um, had Dixon. Uh, Dixon, I believe this is his rookie season or something. No, definitely not his rookie year. What was last time? You know, I know he didn't run last year. Um, Did he run last year? I don't know. I know. Well, there you go. He ran the eight in 2005. And he never, and he hasn't won a race. This would be his first career win if he could win. Uh, I highly doubt that. Um, we'll take a look. I don't think this would be his first career win. Well, if he had no wins in 05. I yeah, mean, but that wasn't his rookie year. Oh, that's right. Well. As Qualls makes the move complete on Dylan Young, now sets his sights on the 03. As we're under 10 laps to go, mind you, as the 10 the Sky Commons closing that gap a little bit there. Kyle Matthews now all over the back bumper of the 17 for third. 
As Swanson tries to close in on it, there are three wide back here. That is Trevor Germain, Jerry Shelley, and Jesse James. We might be heading to green white checker territory pretty soon. Trevor Germain has been in the wall as he's now up into the top 10. Battling for ninth there with the 32. Here comes James Qualls. Sticks the Ooh, nose in there on the 03. Dive bombed it into turn three. Yeah, Swanson didn't get many top fives last season. They're trying to pick up a but Qualls is trying to gain points right here. Um, that I don't think was true either. That was not true. He had two top fives last year. As Qualls good. also completes the move on the 48. Water. Now Trevor, trying Trevor. to... Now trying to close in on the 17. This would be a battle for third. Swanson sees his opening, goes for the move on Kyle Matthews. Uh, Walls is quietly. on a move. Yeah, uh, quietly into the top 10 is the uh, 76. Well, not quite so quietly. I said that he made the move on the 32. Hmm. As James Qualls now completes the pass for third with five laps to go. 03, Paul Swanson trying to get back into the top five as he tries to pass the 48. The 24 is flying. I don't know if he pitted at that last caution or something or just been saving the tires, but man, I that, don't that's quite he, he set the fourth quickest lap of the race. The fastest going to Jerry Shelley as Kyle Matthews continues to fall back. Now loses a spot to the two of Dylan Young. Ooh, we got the wall. 24, I don't think he actually got it there. He was very close, though. Well, he, didn't, he only shaves. He needs to shave off more, and it looks like Matt Dixon's going to have this one in the bag. As three laps to go, now two and a half down the back straightaway. Matt Dixon with an easy lead. The eight is on pit lane of Zach Flickinger, so his bad season continues. Yeah, all, so well, he, the 24 would get there. He needs more time, but that's not enough time, it looks like. Well, he's going to run out of time. He might be able to catch the 10, but I don't even think he's going to be able to make the move for second as another good run for James Qualls, and it's going to kind of mess up that stat line that Pollard was so happy about with 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. Well, it's always a chance. Kyle Matthews trying to re-overtake the two of Dylan Young as we're on the white flag lap. There's the eight of Zach Flickinger coming on pit, come out the pit lane. And through turns three and four for the final time, Matt Dixon going to grab his first win in a while. He didn't win season three. He wins here in season five. He wins in 2008, and that was just bad. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was going to be a better uh, none camera angle. Hunter Braxton is going to be better. Hunter Braxton sneaks a top 10 finish. And James Qualls ends up in third. Shelton finishes fourth again. Commons <laughs> finished second again. Yeah, Kevin Shear's going to lose points to the nine. That's well, good. Well, just a few. Um, that's going to be all of... Uh, it's going to be all of... 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19 points. Yeah. Uh, at least that's if my math's correct. I don't... Actually, sorry, it's not even going to be... F subtract 5 off of whatever I just said because Kev led a lap. Oh, yeah, Kev was. Yeah, it might have led the most laps, too. As no. Matt Dixon is your race no. winner, the top 10 behind him, Sky Commons, James Qualls, Jessica Shelton, Paul Swanson gets his first top five of, or no, that's not even his, what were you talking about, Pollard? I Swanson's said, got I two, he, Swanson has two top fives this season. Oh, I said he has, the old, the old three has that much top fives in the, in the series. Okay, they've got four. This is now their fifth. Man, I need to go to bed. As Kyle Matthews, six, Dylan Young, Haley Lordigan, Oriel Pollard, and Hunter Braxton rounds out the top ten here today. Trevor Germain then ended up falling to 11th. Uh, guys, your final thoughts on this one? Uh, <laughs> I was waiting for someone else to say something. Go ahead, Pollard. Uh, so it definitely was an interesting race. A lot of comers are going, and the beginning of the race was absolutely a shit show. Go win to Matt Dixon. He's more of a cup legend in the series. I guess he's ran almost every year, so go win to him. Sky Commons, another second place this year. Uh, lost to Henry Williams last year. Now loses to Matt Dixon. Jess gets fourth again. Uh, Dylan Young, seventh. Uh, Logan, Oriol Paul, Braxton, and Trevor Jermaine have good runs. 
Good run for JT Bryant. Remember, he he got his lap back under one of the cautions. Came bit Riley the 13th. Uh, Quinton Moore in the bright ass 89 is 19th. And uh, 23 cars in the lead lap right here. Uh, Gardner blew the camshaft. Uh, anyways, uh, this series is taking a month off. So it definitely looks like the 5, the 9, 76, 88, and Zayn and Duel are going to be the strong teams trying to get off the, the COVID break here. And when we come back to the next race at Charlotte, for one of the longest races of the year, we'll see how they uh, do and improve. I'd just like to point out, the 90 got a ninth place finish today. That is his fifth top five, or not top five. That is, his fifth, uh, uh. Yeah, that is his fifth top ten of the year. He came into this one fifth in points and has yet to finish in the top five. He's pulling a gene without a top ten. Or else they don't about winning a championship anyways. Or winning a, winning a race to win a championship anyways. I mean, Oreo, uh, won the, Oreo won the Truck Series championship, so. No, he didn't. Not, no, not in this series. That's probably number six for you. Uh, anyways, just the beginning of the just for the beginning of this race, I have no idea what happened. The cars doesn't know what I want to start. Cars hitting the pit walls. Some cars <laughs> even get the initial green flag. So I'm curious how you, Charles, are gonna set up the points. I, I and uh, I'm just, I'm just uh, let me finish. Let me finish. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, I'm just glad to just do a quick one-off short track race. Otherwise, I'm just back to the super speedways and road courses for you in the booth. So with that, with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Congrats to Matt Dixon on the win in a crazy race here at North Wilkesboro as we only had 38 cars take the green flag. Um, I, like I said, I still don't know how I'm going to score that for those bottom four drivers. Um, but with that said, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't today for more gaming and racing related content. I'm Gordon Fantana 1 for Austin the Plant and Stephen Paul III. You've been watching a production of the NRSL. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Drink Pepsi. Nope. Don't smoke weed. <laughs> Good message. This.